What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another Apparition Net Studio video. So in this video I decided to cover the Left 4 Dead 2 tool in Apparition Net Studio. And the reason for this is I have had quite a few people asking about this tool. And it's actually one of the more substantial tools. Both Left 4 Dead tools are, are quite substantial in Apparition Net Studio. They are quite large tools, they have a lot of options, and there's quite a lot of cool stuff you can do. So I wanted to kind of clear that up and kind of give you guys a guide and show you all the mods that are in Left 4 Dead 2 and how to use them. And of course that also kind of applies to Left 4 Dead 1 because Left 4 Dead 1 has, you know, literally the same the same options essentially as the Left 4 Dead 2 tool has. So yeah, let's get straight into this. So as you can see I'm on the game here. Now if you want to mod online, you need to set up a locally hosted game which I think is where some people were getting a bit confused. Some people thought the tool didn't work because they were um, probably on a dedicated server, so the mods won't work on a dedicated server. So what you wanna do is, let's say we wanna do a survival game. So we'll do a play with friends, create survival lobby, and we'll do it on, uh, let's see, the parish. We'll do bus depot, and then of course, you can set this to public game so that you know it'll be an online game other anybody who's searching for a game can find your game and will join it and you'll be able to mod um, or of course you can set up a private match or just a game with friends only so I'll just set it to friends only just now and then create lobby now here's the important part when you're in here you want to go to edit game settings and by default, the server type will be on official dedicated. It will not work on official dedicated. You need to change this to local server in order for the mods to work. So once you have it set up like this, you can then start the game. And when the game loads up, you'll be able to mod it essentially. And of course, if you set it to public match, people can join your game and you can mod them. So yeah, that is basically how you need to set the game up. I think Left 4 Dead 1 only has local so, you know, if you do an online game on Left 4 Dead 1, uh, you don't need to worry about switching it from dedicated to local. There will not be an option on Left 4 Dead 1 to switch it um, between them, because I think it only does local anyway. But with Left 4 Dead 2, you need to remember that, because that's an important thing. Obviously, if you're playing on solo campaign, then it doesn't matter, as, you know, the mods will work. The game here, okay, so here we are in the game, everything running normally. Now. Just to test, some mods will work like some basic stuff like sending text. If I say hello and I send the text, you can see the top left hand corner that's popping up in the top left. So stuff like that works without um, disabling cheat protection. The same with like setting your player name. So if I change this to modded warfare, change. Now you can see my name in game has changed to modded warfare. There, right there, so it's now modded warfare. So you can change all of that stuff things like that work but most of the other mods you need to enable cheats and that will disable cheat protection when cheat protection is disabled you can then mod so now that cheat protection is disabled we can now do some mods so if we go into more modifications you've got god mode you've got no clip so you can see I can no clip out of the map nice and easy um, third person so you got that you've got gravity you can change your gravity uh, unlimited ammo Put that on. See my ammo's not running out. Um, let's see, developer boxes. So if I enable this, when I aim at um, models and things, you get like a little, uh, like the these little boxes drawn over them, which is very useful when you're kind of like creating bases and stuff, which I'm going to show you guys uh, all that stuff later. So also model spawning. So you can spawn models in. So we want to spawn this. I can do that and it spawns it right there. So stuff like that, you can delete model across here as well. So if I click that, it will be deleted. All that stuff. Send CVAR to console, so you can send custom CVARs. So if I send no clip, then that's gonna put me in no clip. And if I send it again, it's a toggleable command, so it turns off. Very similar to Call of Duty, by the way, the CVARs, you know, just CVAR, DVAR, same thing. Um, most of the com a lot of the commands are actually identical, like God mode and no clip. So yeah, so you've got that uh, in modifications. It's got a bit more advanced stuff in here. So you've got like uh, network information, so that appears that the 
um, bottom right hand corner of the screen there's different levels of network information you can display level one is default which turns it off um, give weapon I don't think that's currently functioning properly at the moment no it's not we'll need to fix that in the next update I'm not entirely sure why that isn't working but we will fix it uh, there's other ways to give weapons by the way so don't worry about that I uh, hijack a bot so if I want to play as I'm playing as Nick right now but if I want to play as Ellis I can just select Ellis and click change and now I am there well there's Nick who I was playing as now I'm playing as Ellis so it swaps them over you can also spawn zombies as well so I can just spawn them in by my crosshairs and they'll all spawn in uh, drop explosives so I can drop pipe bombs so if I do that it's gonna drop a bunch of them they don't animate but they do work as you can see they're blowing up there so there's that and then you can also drop an active uh, Molotov as well so we'll just set the ground on fire wherever you are you can see I've got God mode still enabled I'm not losing any health but yeah that works as well and let's see what else have we got teleport everyone so you can teleport everyone to your crosshairs so if we go ahead and do that everybody teleports to the crosshairs um, toggle zombie spawning so that's whether you want to let the zombies spawn in or not you know if you want to activate the horde essentially wall hack this is like wall hack on steroids if I turn this on as you can see um, yeah it's as if we were developing the game right here it's pretty insane um, so yeah you can turn that on as well and go ahead and turn that off uh, super pipe bombs you got large crosshairs uh, crazy recoil this is insane if I fire the gun I'll just be aiming like all over the place when I fire uh, so we can go ahead and turn that off so again it's just click click once to turn on click once to turn off essentially now that is the modifications but that's not the real kind of um, sort of the main main part of the mods the main part of the mods is the controller bindings and there's actually a lot of cool stuff that you can do in here so one thing you can do now we have these presets so let's say so there's this preset for forge mode so if I go ahead and enable forge mode it'll take a little while because it's binding all these different um, C bars to different buttons on your controller and if you click the little question mark next to it it gives you a list of everything that is done so when I turn that on it puts me in no clip automatically and now the whole point of forge mode is so that you can basically like build your own bases kind of thing so so for example a spawns in a fence and it's also got the developer boxes on it as well and then I can press uh, left trigger to rotate the object I can press right trigger to delete the object so I can basically like create bases and barricades and stuff using this um, if I press B it spawns in a hut so you know you can go ahead and kind of create a little base um, you can also of course let's see so that was um, wooden barricade uh, wait B oh no that's fence so X spawns the wooden barricades so you can spawn those in and of course you can spawn in a staircase if I press Y rotate that up so that people can get on top of the the roof of the hut and then of course uh, let's see what else we've got right bumper spawns in a police barricade left bumper spawns in a concrete barricade um, right bumper left bumper right trigger left trigger back spawns in an ambulance um, what else do we have so we've got up on the d-pad spawns in this fence cover that could be useful to create walls around the huts um, and then you've also got let's see up fence fence cover down is concrete barrier um, and then you've got right spawns in a crate left spawns in um, the let's see oh no that's army truck no where am I okay it spawns in a boardwalk and then right stick spawns in the truck and left stick spawns in these kind of breakable barricades that can be broken by the zombies so yeah you can use these to kind of create your own little bases and stuff it's really cool I used to do this all the time with ISO mods back in the day um, I used to love just building bases and survival mode with uh, people online and just seeing how long we could survive in the base that we built um, but yeah you can do all of that stuff and that is basically forge mode however you can just click default binds and that will reset everything back to normal 
So all my binds are back to normal, uh, switch weapons is Y, I can jump, I can do all the normal stuff, and I've got this little base that I built here. So that is what you can do with the preset binds. Now there's a few other ones, there's a cheat mode, so this only um, does a few things, so like up on the D-pad will toggle no clip, um, uh, down is god mode, uh, right is infinite ammo, so that'll turn it off because I already had it on, I can turn it back on there. Um, and then of course left on the d-pad spawns the players to your crosshairs So you can do this um, That's cheat mode so that you can still kind of play the game, you know, you can still fire and um, Play the game, but also have a few binds that you can use for cheats um, And then of course I can turn that back to normal with default binds and finally um, We've got equipment spawner. This is quite a big one this lets you spawn like loads of equipment. Again, if you're building bases and stuff, you might want to have a bunch of equipment. So A drops uh, defibrillators and you know pipe bombs, all your equipment, uh, Molotovs, all that kind of stuff. And then of course uh, B drops weapons, so a bunch of different weapons. And let's see, X is no clip, Y drops gas cans and um, propane tanks, all that stuff. Uh, let's see, we've got right trigger spawns in firework packs. So you can spawn in firework packs. Uh, what else have we got? So that's right trigger, left triggers, incendiary ammo and laser sights, as well as explosive ammo packs as well. Um, that was left trigger, and then you've got right bumper, which drops special weapons. You need to restart the game for these weapons to actually work and kill zombies, it's kind of weird. But yeah, these kind of weapons you need those. Um, you need uh, you need to restart the game, which is a bit weird. But yeah, you need to do that for those weapons to work. And then of course you've got back, which spawns in ammo piles, so that you have a constant sort of source of ammo. So yeah, that is the equipment spawner. And again, you can just click default binds to set everything back to normal. And that is basically, uh, yeah, that's basically it. That is what you can do now. There's more. Uh, there's a lot more that you can actually do with this because you can actually create your own binds and save them to a preset. So you can make this tool as big as you want. You can make this tool huge because you can basically create your own binds. So right now everything is back to normal. Let's say I want to bind no clip to A and I want to say on screen that no clips enabled. So I can press A, click on A. And then anything I enter in here, any CVAR, gets bound to that button. So I can say no clip, and then say uh, no clip enabled. Apply, and then let's say B, I want to do God mode. So God, and then say God enabled. Or God mode enabled, let's do God mode enabled. And then apply. And yeah, so I can do that. Uh, let's see why. So why we'll do unlimited ammo, I think, if I can remember the command. I think it's SV underscore infinite ammo. Could be wrong. It's been a while since I've done Left 4 Dead C bars. Um, and then we'll just say uh, infinite ammo enabled. And we'll go ahead and save that. So now. If I press A, you can see it says no clip enabled and I'm in no clip. You can press it again, that takes me out of no clip. And then of course B, if I press B it says God mode enabled when I'm pressing B. And then if I press Y, it says infinite ammo enabled. Yeah, that was the wrong command, never mind. But you, you, get, you get the idea, you can see that it binds them to the buttons. Now, the annoying thing about this would be, well, if I get if I create my own custom binds, then the next time I open the tool, I lose it. But with this tool, what you can do is save them. So I can go ahead and save these binds. I'll call them example binds. And then save binds to file. Now that I've done that, I can load them at any point from this list. So if I go back to default binds, I've now lost what I've done. So A is just jump again, right triggers fire, Y is switch weapons, B is reload. So all of that's gone back to normal. But if I want to load up my binds that I've set myself, I can just go to this drop down list, select example binds and then load selected binds. Now if I press A, 
no clip enabled, if I press B, God mode enabled, I press Y, infinite ammo enabled. So you can basically create your own mods, your own uh, binds on your controller. You can make multiple, you can make hundreds if you wanted. You know, there's huge CVAR lists online. If you look for Left 4 Dead 2 CVARs, there's, you know, thousands of them. And you can make your own custom binds and save them to a file, save them to a preset, so that whenever you want to load them up again, you don't have to, you know, rebind all of the buttons. You can just go to this drop down list, select your preset, and that's it. You have your binds will all be set for the next game that you're in. Um, so, yeah, that is basically the Left 4 Dead tool. Um, bear in mind that Left 4 Dead 2 is exact, uh, Left 4 Dead 1 is exactly the same. Um, it's got the same things, uh, modifications, it's got your controller bindings, all of that stuff. So yeah, that is basically the Left 4 Dead tools in ApparitionNet Studio, guys. As you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff. Um, this tool is just huge. We've got, if you haven't seen um, all the Call of Duty tools, um, we added all client stats to Modern Warfare 3. Um, we've also got, you know, uh, profile spoofing on Black Ops 2 for stats. All kinds of stuff and new features are being added. Um, all the time we've got our achievement unlocker which unlocks all the achievements for pretty much any game and yeah loads and loads of stuff if you want to check out I've got a whole playlist of um, all the videos I've made on ApparitionNet Studio which will be linked in the description and if you want to buy the tool ApparitionNet Studio there's a link in the description as well to the purchase page and a link to the website to get more information but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video or found the information useful, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next video.